welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is some college algebra word problems. This is part three of the video series. We got six more example problems to work out for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number 19 asks you to compare two price plans. It says Dog Gourmet charges a fee of $24 and $9 per month to send out monthly dog treat care packages. Best Treats charges a fee of $6 and $12 per month for the same dog treat package. Explain which plan is best based on the specific number of months that Cypress would subscribe for. So we want to compare Dog Gourmet and we're going to set that equal to Best Treats. And we're going to use the fact of start value and rate of change. Dog Gourmet charges a flat fee. That's our start value of 24. And we're going to add $9 for each month. That's going to be our rate of change. Same thing for best treats. Start value is $6 and the rate of change is $12 per month. Now we're going to solve this equation. First I'm going to put all my variables on one side. So I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides to keep my variable term positive. Positive 9x minus 9x is 0, or as some people say, it cancels out, giving me 24. On the right hand side, 12x minus 9x is 3x, so I would have 6 plus 3x. Now I have a two-step. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. 24 minus 6 is 18. 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 plus 3x is 3x. Finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I'm going to find out that x equals 6. That means at 6 months, both plans are equal. However, we want to know which plan is best based on a specific number of months. So we want to know 1 to 5 months, we want to know exactly at 6 months, and we want to know greater than 7 months. So, at 1 to 5 months, the price plan with the cheaper start value of $6 would be better. That's best treats. At 6 months, it doesn't matter. Both are equal. And therefore, at 7 or more months, if we wanted this service, we would have a higher start plan with a less per month charge, and that would be dog gourmet. Problem number 20 is percent growth. It says, in 2021, there were 621 German Shepherd Dogs in Dogville. This is an 8% increase from the number of German Shepherd Dogs in 2015. How many German Shepherd Dogs were there in 2015? So here's my question. I want to know the number of German Shepherd Dogs in 2015. Since that's my question and that's what I'm finding, that's going to be my variable x. So x is going to equal the German Shepherd dogs in 2015. Now, I know there's an 8% increase, and as a decimal, that's 0 0.08. So I'm going to start in 2015 with the number of German Shepherd dogs x, and I'm going to add to that 8% of that number, which would be 0 0.08x, and that will equal 621, or the number of German Shepherd dogs in 2021. So I have the number of dogs in 2015 plus 8% of that number, and that will equal my new number 621 in the year 2021. So remember, there's a hidden one in the front of this. 1x plus 0.08x would be 1.08x, and that would be equal to 621. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 1.08 in order to make my coefficient equal to 1. 1.08 divided by 1.08 is 1x, or as some people say, it cancels out. And 621 divided by 1.08 would give me 575 German Shepherd dogs in 2015. Problem number 21 is related expressions. It says Cypress is making a rectangular frame to hold a photo of her best friend Clifford. The length of the frame is five more than three times the width. The perimeter of the frame needs to be 186 inches. 
what are the dimensions of the frame? So my question asks for the dimensions of the frame. That means I want to find both the width and the length of the frame. Since it says she's making a rectangular frame, I'm going to draw a picture. So I have a rectangle. I know that the length is five more than three times the width. That means that I would call the width x. And I'm going to express the length of the frame as three times x plus five. That would be three times the width, and more than indicates addition, and I'm going to add five to that. I know that the perimeter is 186 inches, and the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the figure. So both widths would be x, and both lengths would be 3x plus 5. So I would have two widths, both at x, plus two lengths, both at 3x plus 5, and that would equal to 186, which is the total perimeter. Now I'm going to solve the equation. The left side needs to be simplified. 2 times x is 2x, and I have a distributive property. 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times 5 is 10. That will still be equal to 186. Now I'm going to combine like terms. 2x plus 6x is 8x plus 10, which is equal to 186, and now I have a two-step. I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. 10 minus 10 is 0, or as some people say it cancels out. 0 plus 8x is 8x, and 186 minus 10 is 176. Then I'll divide both sides by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1x, and 176 divided by 8 is 22. So x equals 22, which is the length of the width. So the width is 22 inches. Now I'm going to find the length of the frame. That would be 3 times x, which is 22, plus 5. 3 times 22 is 66, and 66 plus 5 is 71. So the length of the frame is 71 inches. Problem number 22 is also related expressions. It says two types of fencing are being used to construct kennels for the local dog rescue. They have 873 feet of fencing in total. The length of the second type is six feet less than four times the length of the first type. If there are 43 sections of the first type and 26 sections of the second type, how long is each type of fencing? So we have our question, how long is each type of fencing? And we have a first type and we have a second type. Since the second type depends on the first type, I will call the first type of fencing x. So x will equal the first type of fencing. It says the length of the second type is six feet less than. So less than means subtraction. And the word than means that I'm going to flip the beginning and the end four times the length of the first type. So I'm going to have four times the length of the first type minus six, and that will be equal to the length of the second type. So there's 43 sections of the first type. That would be 43 sections times the length of each one of those is x, plus 26 sections of the second type, and the length of each of those is 4x minus 6. And that will be equal to the total amount of fencing that's used, which is 873. Now I'm going to solve the equation. First, I have to simplify the left side. 43 times x is 43x. Now I have a distributive property. 26 times 4x is 104x minus 26 times 6 is 156 and that's equal to 873, which is the total length. Now I'm going to combine like terms. 43x plus 104x is 147x minus 156 equals 873. And now I have a two-step. I'm going to add 156 to each side. Negative 156 plus 156 is 0. 0 plus 147x is 147x, and 
873 plus 156 is 1029. Divide both sides by 147. 147 divided by 147 is 1x, and 1029 divided by 147 is 7. So the first type of fencing is x, and that is 7 feet. The second type of fencing is 4 times 7 feet minus 6. 4 times 7 is 28, and 28 minus 6 is 22 feet. So the first type of fencing is 7 feet long, and the second type of fencing is 22 feet long. Problem number 23 is sales over time. It says at the doggy boutique, a leash costs $14. If the weekly sales of leashes totaled $490, on average, how many leashes were sold each day? Note that the doggy boutique is open seven days a week. So I want to know how many leashes on average were sold each day. And I know I want to find out days, but the sales are given to me as weekly sales. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is find out how many leashes were sold in a week. I know that the total number of sales is $490 for the week, and each leash costs $14. So I will divide $490 by $14. If I punch that into a calculator, I get 35. That means there were 35 leashes sold this week. To find out how many are sold on average in each day, I'm going to take 35 and divide that by the seven days in a week, and I will find out the answer is five. So on average, there were five leashes sold per day. Problem number 24 is linear relationships. It says at the beginning of a two-week training period, Cypress was walking 2.4 miles. She is going to add three-tenths of a mile each day to her walk. How far will Cypress walk on the last day of her two-week training period? So I want to know how far will Cypress walk on the last day? That's a distance question. And the distance is expressed by the start value of 2.4 miles and the rate of change of three-tenths of a mile each day. So I'm going to allow x to equal the number of days in the linear relationship. So I have the distance at any day, d of x, would be equal to the start value, 2.4, plus 3 tenths times the number of days, which is the rate of change. So the distance, d of x, is equal to the start value of 2.4 miles, plus the rate of change of 3 tenths of a mile per day. I want to find the distance on the 14th day. So I want to find d of 14. So I'm going to allow x to equal 14. So 2.4 plus 3 tenths times 14. If I punch 3 tenths times 14 into a calculator and add 2.4, I find out on the 14th day, Cypress would walk 6.6 .6 miles. So that's it. Six more examples of college algebra based word problems. Keep working hard. We know you can do this. Don't give up on it. As we say at Math Dogs, you got this.